hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for pressing play this is sickening affection and i am valentine and she is Bridget. yeah so today we are going to be talking about christian pit peeves and disclaimer number one we are not saying we are perfect in these things we are not saying um we always get them right um probably her her pit peeves are some of the things I do. Proba probably, eh, probably, probably my pit peeves are some of the things she does. But anyway, we're going to share those things because we are helping each other get better. So yeah, so my number one pit peeve would be, um, it really annoys me to see these people who claim to be Christians, to be born again. Then when it comes to social media, the things you post, and the things you you talk about, the things you share, are actually contrary to what you portray yourself. So on Sunday you are there looking so holy, holier than thou. Then on your social media post is just there are just things that are contrary to who you claim to be. That really annoys me. What is yours? My number one will be those Christian who claim do not judge me. First you are a Christian, it's a correction, it's not a judgment, but most of them take it as do not judge me, yet it's a correct mistake you did. And a fellow believer is seeing you're going astray, the best thing to do is to tell you, but most of them claim you are judging them, yet they are going the wrong way. That is my first thing. Very annoying. I think uh, that that was going to be my third pit peeve, because um, actually I find it really weird and really annoying when you know something is not right, like deep down you know, because you see, we are born again Christians, we have the Holy Spirit, He convicts us of our sins. Yani, deep down, deep down you know what you are doing is not right. But you're just there like, you guys are judging me, I don't like to be judged, don't judge me, only God can judge me. Man, if I were you, I'd be scared of that, because <laughs> if God... If God judges you, yeah. it, it's bad. Of course, I know the Bible says, do not judge with the same measure of judgment you judge someone it will be judged unto you but if you know what you're doing is just not right why hide under the cover of do not judge me not cool not cool anyway because i've addressed my third one my second one was going to be captions captions guys captions so yeah we are on the era of social media our photos are looking bomb and everything and then you're there with a very indecent photo and a caption of the scripture who are you kidding though who yani someone is there with not even a cleavage i don't know with some poses you know literally show kissing your butt there and then you have this uh, we are a chosen generation <laughs> who are you kidding though you know I don't know, just put it there and just write, I don't know, write something else, but just don't mock God, like don't use those scriptures where they're not supposed to be used, like, pff, bruh, you annoy me though. My second one, you do a mistake and you say I'm a sinner and you're born again. Then what was the purpose of Jesus Christ? Yes, you're a sinner, but there are some things you will do. Um, it will be annoying, right? But you still know you are a child of God. There is no way each and every day I'll be waking up and telling myself, ha, I'm going to sin, I'm a sinner. The blood of Jesus washes us. It cleanses you, then you still remain with the tag. It's not right. Sometimes we just allow ourselves to go through spiritual amnesia. It's not right. It's wow. not right. Mm -hmm. Remind yourself each and every morning you are no longer slave to that sin. No longer a slave to that sin. No longer like, ah, uh -uh, I am a child of God. Then be like Christ. There is no way you will be a child of Christ born by the same power that runs this world and you tell each and everybody, ah, don't blame me, I did it, I'm a sinner. Although, you know, it's not right. Really mm -hmm. boring. Mm -hmm. Then my bonus and my last pit peeve would be being... A pretender you know it is you see the Bible commands us to love our neighbors and and you know there's a difference of um, 
you know everyone comes in their own package and what what she does uh, could sit well with her but it doesn't sit well with me i still love her but you know it's i don't know people feel uh, people make it look like because you are a christian you cannot just tell um, someone you don't like something about them love is not pretending to like something when you don't if she comes to church with um what if she comes to church with with indecent uh, dressed indecently I, I i still love her but i will not pretend at i can't tell her at a hey, bridget the way you are you are dressing is not good because you know i love you so i'm just going to sit there and not tell you actually love is to correct you that mm -hmm. and on on that um pretending thing this thing of i don't know i just you probably don't like me then on on sunday you just really have to pretend you like me because i'm standing with your crew and now you want to hug me and pretend oh sasa you're looking nice i like your hair I like your I've, been, I've had that hair <laughs> since january you guys i like your hair today your hair looks nice this hairstyle looks good on you like huh you've not been seeing me since january like don't, don't pretend just say hi and, and and move on and if it's something you can work it out with this person as your relationship grows then work it out but just don't pretend mm -mm. don't do that my number three will go to respect we are christian there is something in showing respect to the people who are above us especially spiritually you find people hanging out and you call let me use an example ha huh. i told elisha and you wonder who is elisha unfortunately she was speaking or he was speaking about a man of god that is a pastor in a certain church there is that respect that comes while you can say pastor elisha it's actually right to do so there is no way hey it pisses me off. Like, there are our spiritual leaders, even your parent, most people do this. Your parent, you cannot, you cannot, for my mom, she will ask you, who is that? Am I your age mate? No. If that is your parent, what about the, a man of God or a woman of God? You just don't call them their names like that. Mm -mm. Respecting titles, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, so those are some of our pit peeves. Of course, we have a lot of those, but, uh, you know, we'll, we will save you the time. So let us know in the comment box below what are some of your Christian pit peeves. What are these things that really annoy you about Christians that you wish you could just call out everybody and tell them, mm -mm, don't do this or don't do that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Make sure you do what? You like subscribe and um and what share 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 this message share this message and i would really love to know what are some of your christian pit peeves so that if i have been doing some of that we I can correct. stop doing it yeah thank you guys see you again in bye. our next video bye bye, bye.